Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions submitted by viewers, subscribers, whoever, people that leave comments on my videos. Let's just make it as simple as that. Um, but yeah, a lot of people ask me questions and not everybody goes through the comment sections to make sure that I answer questions, so I figure I'd make a video answering some of your guys' questions. And if you guys want me to answer more questions in the future, you know, just keep leaving comments and I'll just do this eventually, I guess. Anyways, let's get uh, right into answering some questions. So our first question comes from Destiny Sanchez. My paper always sticks when I try to make mountains. Any tips? Good question. Uh, that can be related back to using clear coat. A lot of times when the paint starts to get sticky as opposed to it being just like wet and uh, you know, you're able to manipulate layers, usually the paint's starting to dry a little bit and when it starts to dry, it becomes more sticky. So just add a little bit of clear coat, add a little bit on at a time though, just to make sure that it doesn't become really watery. So just add a little bit, test the paint, and uh, keep working with it. So clear coat, that's the key. Our next question comes from Drake Waite. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is Montana 94 a good spray paint? I bought black and white for the start as you recommended, but it's matte, not glossy. Is that a problem? Should I buy glossy spray paint next time? Good question. Montana 94, I've been asked a lot about the Montana brand, my opinion of it, have I ever used it? I've never used it, so I don't really feel just giving a uh, good recommendation on it. I heard it's a good brand, but I've never personally used it, so I can't I can't really tell you on that, so I apologize. And yes, you should always use glossy paint, because the one time that I did use matte paint, uh, granted I was using it with glossy also, but it began to crack and bubble, and it doesn't give as shiny and nice of a surface to it. So yes, I always recommend using glossy paint whenever necessary. Okay, our next question comes from Julio60X. That's a a groovy name there. <laughs> Do you think it's best to stick with one type of paint? For instance, if you're using glossy black, also use glossy white. Yes, as stated before, always stick with glossy paint, especially if you're using two different kinds of paint. The one time I made that mistake was I didn't know that I bought matte paint on accident and I just kind of had to make do with what I had because I was actually filming a video that day and I didn't have time to go back to the store and everything. But long story short, yes, always stick with one kind of paint. Always make it glossy. And uh, usually they say it's best to stick with one brand of paint, such as Rust-Oleum or Krylon, but that doesn't matter as much. Just always make sure that's glossy. Okay, we get another question from, oh, I'm going to butcher this name so bad. I'm so sorry. Who's Afa Jamil? What type of paper can I use any spray paint, which works best? Same with paper. Sorry, I'm a rookie. You want to make my first painting soon. Also, how many spray cans does one painting take up? Uh, everybody has to start somewhere, man. No worry about, you know, the questions or anything like that. Uh, for what type of paper I use, as I always state, glossy poster board. But any glossy surface will work if glossy poster board is not available in your area. So just anything glossy. As far as the spray paint they use, whatever is available, really. A lot of people say, I don't have rust in this area or anything like that. When it comes to materials, use what you have available. That's why I always say glossy spray paint and glossy poster board because it really doesn't matter past that. As long as you have those basic things there, you're basically golden. As far as which one works the best, I like Rust-Oleum. That's just my opinion, that's what's around here and that's what I have available to me. And something unique that they asked, how many spray cans does one painting take up? I've never actually been asked that before, so I had a difficult time answering it. Uh, it really depends on the color that you're using. Uh, I use way more black than any other color. I probably go through a can of black every three or four paintings depending on the size and how much darkness is in it um, but it really just varies from painting to painting usually I can knock out probably three to nine paintings depending on the colors used it it just varies so much it's very hard to answer and our last question today comes from TJ Garcia can I use photo paper for an alternative as long as it's glossy, which I've never personally used photo paper, but I know that a lot of people do use photo paper for it. As long as it's glossy, go for it. If you can get it cheap, also go for it. I hear that glossy uh, yeah, photo paper is kind of expensive, so if it's available to you and it's cheap and it's glossy, I don't, I don't see why not. Yeah, go for it. So anyways, that's it for questions today. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments or send me a message or even go to my Facebook page. That will be in the description below. So. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, I will see you all later.